Three for Five at One Youngster is recorded live in front of a mythical audience. Haha, ha, late LK at One Youngster doing this thing, holding it down, giving you that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? It is Tuesday, and I am so excited, so hyped because you know what? <laughs> San Diego Comic-Con, baby. This weekend is going to be so fresh and fly for you. Man, I'm so hyped to see y'all. And I'm so hyped to let y'all in on a little bit of news, what we're going to be doing. Um, of course, you already know Brandon Easton's going to be down there. Black Girl Nerd's going to be down there. Jeffrey Thorne, Tony Perrier, Hannibal Taboo. So many dope cats are going to be down there. But on top of that, your bad boys of film are going to be in the house. And you best to believe that Isaac the Dude movie reviews and your boy right here, one youngster, got it for you. We're going to be doing a live stream. We're going to be meeting up with fans kicking it with other youtubers man we got a whole host of stuff planned so first keep it locked stay tuned into our websites our youtube feeds and all that good stuff so you'll know where we're at also keep it locked for that live stream also keep your eye out for your boy for that cold chilling episode because you best to believe that i'm bringing tons of free comics that's right comics for everyone that i see at least until they run out but i'm gonna have a whole gang of books y'all like single issues out the wazoo and i'm so excited so meet me in the streets you see me holla at me we can do a cold chilling real quick because of course i always want to know who is your favorite superhero and why and i'm gonna be honest man y'all you guys have been coming with some deep cuts but you guys have really really been giving me a whole bunch of folks that i was like there's no way this is someone's superhero favorite superhero so once again y'all i am excited i'm gonna be down there on friday i know there's a whole like i think collider get together and meet up on thursday that i'm not going to be able to get to but there's going to be tons of stuff and tons of fun in store for everybody you know what i'm saying from you know from collider to nerdist to whoever um i do hope to see some folks out there and this is a group of folks that i hope to see even though i'm not sure if i'm gonna see him i'd love to get up with uh andre the black nerd again uh, I'd love to see Swoozy if he's going to be in the house. Uh, I'd love to see MKBHD, even though I'm not sure if this is his sign of event, but you never know. I'd also love to see Roberto Blake in a place. Um, and a big shout out to the Black Hokage. I'd love to see him as well. Um, you know, just pretty much putting it out there. Hopefully I'll see those cats. You never know. But, yo, it's coming. It's almost here. I can't believe it. Oh man, I, I I always get like this around San Diego Comic Con. I don't know why. It's just like a certain energy that I know. Like when I arrive, I'm gonna be so so hype. I can't I can't even explain it. I'm grinning from ear to ear, like already because I know like Friday morning when I jump in the whip, I know it's one destination and one destination only. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing but comics and movies like all weekend. We gonna uh, Isaac and I got some reviews coming for y'all. Uh, we got some live streams. What else? We got some interviews. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. And of course, like I said, I got free comics just like I did at VidCon. And if you missed me at VidCon, you shouldn't have because I had mad Civil War issues ready for your folks. But there's a lot of people that did get some. So anyway, I'm telling y'all, do not miss your boy because I'm going to be in the house and it's going to be so fresh to see the bad boys of film doing it up like we do because that's just how it is yo so of course chop it up with me in the comments down below i want to know are you going to san diego comic-con if you are where are you going to be are you trying to see us at a certain event that we might not know about going to give me a shout also i want to give a big shout out to uh black trebles uh, the two Brandons podcast, uh, man, dang, so many folks that I hope to see in the spot, like, shout to, like, you know, MKBHD, Black Nerd, Black Hokage, all them folks, but most importantly, man, I'm just hyped to see y'all, I'm waiting to see new Marvel news, new Star Wars news, new DC news, new Valiant news, Valiant especially, man, I'm, I'm, really interested to see what they're going to do with the whole movie development deal so i guess hopefully we'll have a 
couple, you know, explanations or descriptions of what they're planning on doing. But of course, next. <laughs> All right, uh, from the fellas to the ladies, how important is sex? Seriously, how important is it? Break it down for us. From the ladies, break it down for us. Gosh, I mean, it's important, but it's not like the end all be all. It's not like, I don't know. I mean, I think when you're, in a courtship, okay. So let me use my terms correctly. When you're in a in a in a courtship, oh boy. Okay. Um. You know, this, this it depends on your values. You know, so I, I just want to put that out there. Um, Could you answer the question, please? If you would let me talk, I ain't cut you off when you're going on. Girl, you better answer that question. Anyway. When you're in, a, in a, a courtship and you're getting to know each other, some people may feel like that is part of getting to know each other is, is having sex. But I think once you're past that and everything, and say you're married, I don't know, or, or to that point, I don't know. I mean, it's it's important because you need that connection with that with that person. You need that intimacy. But you don't need to be like doing it every day, all day. You know, every time we look at each other, every time somebody got, you know, draws on. Um, so I don't know. I mean, look, I don't really here, know how to answer that. Here's, here's the deal. Women don't be caring about sex like that, yo. They, they just don't. They don't really worry about it. Like, they don't really. They just don't crave it. They don't, they don't need it like That's that. That's not true. Fellas, fellas need it. But I don't we both think. both need it, but at a different rate. When, women can go without sex and not even have to worry about it. If a man goes without sex, you're not for alone, like, so you can't say that. Well, I am going by what women have shown men since the beginning of time. You don't know all women, and you have not been here since the beginning of time. It's been recorded in history. Thank you. Cavemen were scrawling it on walls <laughs> about women. You know what I'm saying? Not wanting to do it. Egyptians, Egyptians was drawing it. Women just, y'all just don't, y'all just don't really, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not even on y'all mind. We keep producing. Hmm. That's because y'all have the sex the one time when y'all be like, all right, let me make, let me have a baby real quick. Really? And be like, all right, let me have a baby real quick. All right, there, I'm done. Really? No more sex for the rest of my life. Look, fellas. If y'all dead and you're in a committed relationship and you're with a woman and you're wondering, yo, is something wrong with me? We ain't having sex. Yo, it's fine. You ain't gonna have no sex. That's it. That's that's, that's what that's what true. marriage is. You get you get to sleep with a beautiful woman, but you can't have none. That's it. That's not true. Don't listen you get to, to have sex about once a quarter. And, and maybe maybe on your birthday if you're lucky. You might get, I don't know, you might get like some Thanksgiving or Christmas sex. You probably won't even get no New Year's sex. But you can just put that, look, tuck it away. And all you using for is to go to the restroom and just forget it. You ain't going to be using that thing no more. Just, just go on and wash it and just put it in your pants. Go to work. Because ain't nothing else going to happen. Just give it on up. Because men... Is this true? Men need it, and maybe it's because I don't know. We just I don't know neurons or something. Think about it more, whatever. But men just need it more, and women just they're just like oh whatever, it's all good. And like they don't, they just don't think about it. I guess or, or they think about it. It's just like oh you know I'll get I'll get to that you know next month, and like it just it just doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't come across your mind. I'll just be like, oh yeah, I do. You know, I'll, I'll take care of that in like two months from now. And like put like it on the calendar or something. Put a Google alert. Be like, oh, I'm gonna make sure to have sex. You know, about six months from now, and then that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, so uh, I have to say, uh, for men, it's pretty important. I'd say I'd probably say it's in the top five. Maybe not the top three. It might edge into the top three. 
But for women, that joint is probably in the top 10. And I, love edging, how, I love how he's going to speak for women. Okay. And, and when I say in the top 10, it's edging out to like the top 15. All right, all right, y'all. This one goes out to Twitter. And I'm not talking about the... Well, I'm going to talk about Twitter, the organization, and also Twitter, the users. Now, um, I'm going to first talk to Twitter, the users. Um, recently... Uh, one of the Twitter community and Leslie Jones was attacked. Um, not for the movie that she was in. I mean, people feel however they feel about the movie, whether they like it or not. But people attacked Leslie um, in in a way that that is vile. Um, a way that is is uh there's a level of vitriol that shouldn't be shouldn't be allowed there was there was a lot of stuff that was below belt um a lot of the stuff that steps outside of the bounds of what you would consider just you know uh joking or clowning somebody and um things got very very hateful uh very racial uh very hurtful and um to those users in twitter um, I'm not even asking you or imploring you. I'm saying like, yo, that's, that's just something that we should not ever accept. Um, me, I'm a guy that loves to clown around and I, you know, people know how I feel about the film, but as far as coming at someone, there's just certain things that shouldn't be, you shouldn't even be thinking about that. That, that kind of shows the kind of person you are. Um, coming at someone the way people have come at Leslie um, in the in the past uh, days is just it's sad to see that this is what is in people's hearts especially when they feel that they can't be um, you know can't you know there's no repercussions since you're sitting behind a computer or a keyboard or you have this sense of uh, anonymity um, and it's just a shame uh, to see this. And for the users that don't stand for hate, that don't stand for racism, that don't stand for um, seemingly just, I guess, I, I don't know what to call it, but just evil comments. I feel ashamed to know that nobody stepped up uh, for Homegirl. Um, it's a shame that no one, until it, until it hit the fan, no one from, um, you know, the production even stood up for her. Um, it, it's just a shame, Twitter. We gotta, we gotta police ourselves um, a lot better. Now, to the organization of Twitter. Yo, Twitter, you guys see this stuff going on. Um, and I don't think that you are in any way blind or in any way ignorant to the level of hate and racism that goes on on your site. Um, and I think you guys need to step up, uh, own up to the fact that you create a place for this, that you create a platform for these people, and that you need to do something about these people as well. Not only do the users need to police these people, but the organization that creates a platform that for these people to spew hate, for these pe people to spew racism and all that, you guys need to keep that stuff clean as well. There's nothing wrong with playing around and joking and clowning each other like, oh, you've got a big head, oh, you're too short or something. But what went on with Leslie Jones and what goes on with people, not just Le Leslie Jones, Leslie Jones is polarizing because of you know the stature that she has you know in the entertainment industry but this goes on all the time racism is all too uh normal online in general and twitter is getting horrible so twitter users we gotta we gotta police ourselves yo we gotta we gotta call people out when they're doing wrong and to the community we we gotta step up because we should have never let Leslie go through what she went through second of all Twitter you got to step up and start policing your community straight up this is what went down and has been going down um, to you know to other people you know you have like Gamergate and stuff that went down 
Like you guys need to step up, block accounts, block people, you know, uh, delete, you know, uh, delete comments. You guys need to step in and own up to the, you know, to the, the platform that you create for people to even, you know, conduct themselves the way that they do. So Twitter, you've got to step up and deal with this stuff. And I mean, deal with it like yesterday. Peace. Three for five at one youngster is brought to you by a full tang design. Also sponsored in part by Nas Whip and Xrefo. Sweet doo dee doo dee doo dee, sweet dee dee dee.